Welcome to the RDSO Show with me, Yari Webb, and me, Yari Webb. Sports with me, Yari Webb. And also, weather with Just me, kidding. Yari Webb. Welcome to the RDSO Show with me, Yari Webb, and me, Noah Bagwell. Kids are familiar with sports and weather with Antoine Blamo. Now for RDSO's number one news team. At this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. The weather for today will be areas of patchy fog with a high of 68 degrees, and tonight will be cloudy with a low of 50. All middle school students interested in participating in track and field for the Fountain High School this spring need to email Ms. Jeffco. Seventh grade band rehearsal is after school today. And the Fountain Parade is at 5.30 tonight. Come see what our board is in the parade. Tomorrow is the fifth grade field trip to Camp Thunderbird. Second grade will be math testing. The Gators are back in action against Greenville Middle School tomorrow night. It is a home game and that starts at 5.30. Come support the team. Kindergarten through second grade Spirit Squad will be cheering at the game. The middle school band performance will be at Fountain High School on Thursday evening at 6.30. Today's lunch menu is general sauce chicken, fried rice, chicken and vegetable dumplings, salad bar, and steamed broccoli. Now for Brady Warren with sports. Thank you. Heading over to the NBA. Clippers vs. Magic, Hornets vs. Nets, Suns vs. Celtics, Lakers vs. Raptors, and Warriors vs. Jazz. Now we have Paul men's basketball. We have number 7 Tennessee vs. East Kentucky, number 5 UConn vs. Florida, and number 14 Indiana vs. Nebraska. Alex Way has his day in history. This day in history, in 1941, Japanese planes attacked the United States naval base at Pearl Harbor, killing more than 2,300 Americans. The USS Arizona was completely destroyed, and the USS Oklahoma was capsized. Now it is time for Bonus Wednesday. Reporter Jonathan Avery spoke with fifth grade students about a lesson in how to deal with unsafe peer pressure, situation using five refusal skills. Let's see what fifth grade learned. What is peer pressure? It's where somebody influence, influences you to do something. Oh. What are some of the negative effects of peer pressure? Somebody making you do something really wrong. Um, uh, have you ever experienced peer pressure yourself? Yes. Uh, well. Now that the holiday season is upon us, let's take a look at some of the Christmas trees made by various grade levels throughout the school. Apple, what do you have for us? What did you enjoy about making your grades too? Um, I enjoyed making the snowflakes. <laughs> Hi, who am I doing? My name is Lynn. What is the theme of your grades Christmas tree? Mm -hmm. My theme is um, our Christmas day. Everybody created a comic from our Santa Christmas. And Miss Charlene, can you tell us about the Christmas tree that the 7th grade decorated? Absolutely. Am I supposed to take that? Yes. Okay. Um, yes, I can tell you about it. So our theme this year was Christmas around the world, as you can see down here. Um, every student in seventh grade got to choose a different country. There are 195 of them. And all students made a flag, which are hung up all around the pod, for their corresponding um, countries. And then they also made um, ornaments that reflect what Christmas looks like in those countries. So one of my students, for instance, Jackson Moeller, he had Thailand. And so one of the things that he learned is one of the symbols there is an elephant with Santa hats. So somewhere on here is his awesome um, ornament that he wrote, and he wrote Thailand on it. He made an elephant with a little Santa hat and talked about the traditions they have in that country. So we get to see what these holidays are like all around the world. Today I'm here with? Jackson Muller. And what are you doing today? Um, I'm just gonna explain what these are. So basically what we did in class is we decorated the ornaments to put on our Christmas tree and we just basically showed what the different Christmases look like around the world. Um, mine is an elephant with a Santa hat on top for Thailand, and Gia's is um, a horse made out of hay, and children in the church.
Thank you for watching our YouTube show.